Hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Welcome back to another Dragon the Veil video. Super excited about today. Today we read the core key dragon in the rift. That's right. But before we get the video started, I want guys know we do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There'll be a link down below to our Twitch channel. Check us out there. For right now, let's go hatch our new core key dragon in the rift. So if you guys don't know, today I just bred Corky. Yesterday the Corky Dragon just came out. I didn't breed it at 1 o'clock or during my stream, which is unfortunate. But I did get it today this morning, which is super exciting. Well, it's more like this afternoon, but whatever, that doesn't really matter. But whatever, I got the Dragon in the rest, which is pretty cool. And if you're wondering what I did get it with, I used the Daylily Dragon with a plant trait, which the trait does not matter, and also a Earth Rift. So technically that's like a four element combo, but it's the same thing as you would breed in the overall park. Besides like, you know, the rift element on on so you can get possible rainbow dragons, but we don't talk about that. Right now though, let's go hatch our core key dragon. We're gonna move him over to our park so we can do the following and show you guys young form, teen form, and adult form. All that max info and other good stuff. So here's the dragon itself. Looks very, very cute. I love this dragon's young form. So now we see that we can actually move him on over like so. Take care of that. And then we'll take him to his teen form of course and get that max info out of him. And also he's really small. Look how small he is, holy moly. He's cute though, I'll say that. But uh, here's the base information for the core key dragon, of course. Now what we're gonna do, of course, is take it level four for the teen form and then take it to level seven for that doll form. So here is the teen form of the dragon, looks pretty nice. And now let's take it to level seven for the adult form. Here we go. And now let's take it to level 20 to get that max info. I'm not a huge fan of this dragon's adult form. It's kind of weird looking in my opinion. It's kind of, I guess it based, based on the person's opinion, it's good or bad, depending on that. So for me, I don't like it. I love the young form though. So I'll most likely use a fountain of youth on it later. So I think that's gonna be the plan in my case. But uh, yeah, it actually produces over 500 gold right now at level 19. And that level 20 produces a total of 531 gold a minute. That's actually really good. I'm really curious now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move him to the gold booster island and see how much he does on the gold form. So let's go do that. So here you go. Let's move him on over to my overgrown island and see how much he produces with all the boosters in Dragonvale. So there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. This is actually a really good gold farm dragon. I don't think it's the best gold farm dragon, but it's definitely the like top like 10 I'd say. So at max level with boosters, it produces 1,169, right? With the lucky 69. That's awesome and hilarious. So yeah, that's really cool for the Corky Dragon. I don't know if it's easy to rebreed, but supposedly if you breed Daylily and also this dragon in co-op together, you have a 14.5% chance of breeding it together to get another one. So you could technically clone this if you could just constantly rebreed it. And if you get two of them, then just make a gold farm out of them, which actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Also, the animation though looks really nice. Let me fix my capture card. Okay, my capture card is fixed now. I might need to look into getting a new one. I probably have to do that. But besides that though, that is the max information with Quarky with all the boosters in Dragonville. It looks really good and has a really nice animation, a really good gold production and all that other good information. That's that is awesome. So now we're gonna do a course. The Quarky Dragon is race fit, just in case you're wondering what it looks like the race of the new dragon. So yeah, let's go do that here. Let's look up Quarky real quick and take care of that. And there we go, Quarky. And then we'll go to the race. So yeah. I'm super excited about this Dragon's Race animation, but I want to quickly point out, I want to say quickly thank you to all of you guys who came out to our Twitch stream last night. Last night we were streaming Call of Duty Cold War. It was a lot of fun. And we just chatted about Dragonville during the whole entire time. So it was it was hilarious to do. So a quick thank you to like Zell, uh, Muffin, all of you guys for coming out. I had a good time hanging out with you out there. But um, yeah. Also, the Corky's Dragon Race animation was pretty basic. It just did a light dash, which is nice. So it wasn't anything too crazy, but it was pretty basic, which is cool. So that's taken care of. But uh, yeah. That is the video for today guys if you did enjoy the new video on the Corky dragon and you did find it helpful or informational Make sure to smash the like button dragon punch the subscribe button and don't forget we do stream on twitch Of course every Monday Wednesday Friday the link down below to our twitch channel check us out there way down there Don't forget to check out the merch you want to snack some merch to support the channel That'd be very much appreciated until then good luck with breeding this new dragon good luck with the event and of course dragon punch